Hey everyone, um, today I'm going to be doing kind of uh, showing you my relocation because I'm in a different place than I usually am. Um, and then I'm going to be reviewing a bunch of skincare stuff that I got from Philosophy about a month ago. Um, so first, I'm in a different place um, and the lighting probably looks really strange but that is because um, it's like 1 o'clock in the morning right now and it's Christmas Eve. Um, but we got to open some Christmas presents at my grandma's house um, tonight. And I just wanted to show you one of the things that I got. And I got a makeup mirror. Yay! I don't have to use my little tiny, like, portable mirror thing anymore. Um, it was kind of annoying. <laughs> but I'm really, really happy because I finally have a real mirror now. Um, but yeah, the lighting kind of looks weird. But if I turn it off, I'm like backlit. So that doesn't really look much better. I guess I could turn this way. I don't know. But I'm just going to leave it on. Um, so yeah, if you look over here, my bookshelf is. That, it's hard to point in the camera. <laughs> that pillow right there is where I usually sit. And like you can see on that shelf right there, those are all my brushes. Um, so that's where I used to sit for my videos. Um, but this is probably where I'm going to move to just because it's where my mirror is going to be. I guess I'll just go ahead and get into the philosophy stuff. The first thing that I got was, or my favorite thing that I got, was their Purity Cleanser. And this is their um, face wash. This is Purity Made Simple. Um, this is the 16 ounce um, bottle. They have a lot of different sizes of this. Um, they have a lot of different sizes of all their different products. So um, this is just like an everyday cleanser. I use it twice a day. Um, and I used to use one from Clinique and um, it was made for dry skin and I switched to this one because I wanted something that was um, better for winter because my skin actually got drier for the first time in like ever um, and for the scent it's kind of like a really light herbal scent which was um, I really I like the way it smells um, but it was something different for me because all of Clinique stuff is unscented. I like that it has oils in it because I was looking for it for the whole moisturizing um, effect. And it does not dry my skin out at all. Like, I can wash my face and, um, like, it doesn't even really feel like I need a moisturizer. I'm going to use one anyways. But, um, yeah. So I use this. I really, really like this. This is probably something I'm definitely going to keep. Um, if not for year-round, I'll definitely just keep it for winter. Um, so that's what I think of that. Um, uh, the next thing that I got came in the little, um, pouch thing. This was, um, they give you a little travel size of the Purity Cleanser, and then a travel size of the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash, and then they give you a little travel size perfume, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, okay, for the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash, um, it is supposed to be um, a micro massage exfoliating wash and it's supposed to be gentle enough for everyday use and it also doubles as a face wash um, so oh one thing I forgot to mention about this the purity it does not lather up very much which kind of annoyed me at first but um, now I don't really mind it so just something to note about that this does give more lather than the purity um, it has like a rice bran wax I think those are the little um, it has a really, really fine grit to it. Um, it's kind of like, it's not like a really, really dense exfoliator. It's kind of more um, soap or liquid than um, exfoliator. But um, I think it's pretty good. It's supposed to be gentle enough for everyday use. I personally like the Clinique one that I have more. It's their 7-day exfoliating scrub or something like that. And the grain in that one is bigger. And um, I also find that it's like more dense of a exfoliator like there's more little beads in it um, um as far as an exfoliator this one's pretty good not really something i would purchase again just because i already have something that i like better um but if you like a really gentle exfoliator or you want something that's gentle enough for every day then this would be something to check out um and then for the other thing i got in the little um pouch thing i got a perfume sample and this was Unconditional Love, and it was a pretty big perfume size, or perfume sample size. <sighs> and oh my goodness, um, I talked about this in my monthly favorites, and this is, oh my goodness, I have got to get a full size of this because this smells so good. Um, it's a floral scent, it's pretty sweet actually. 
but it, oh my goodness, it smells so good. Um, I tried to describe it in my other video. I'm really not good at, at describing scents. Um, but it's a kind of a sweeter, soft floral. It's not intense by any means, but it smells really, really good to me. And the last thing that I will talk about is their Hope in a Jar, which is probably Philosophy's most um, famous product. Um, this is their... Okay, so my power just like randomly went out. Um, it's really windy outside. Um, yeah, but my power just went out. Anyways, back to what I was talking about, which was the Philosophy's Hope in a Jar, which is probably their most famous product. It's um, their original, it's original formula for all skin types. So it's kind of like an all-purpose facial moisturizer. Okay, so for as far as all of the claims go, for the first one about the lactic acid for exfoliation, um, my skin is uh, pretty smooth, but I think that might also be because um, this is something I switched out from my Clinique moisturizing gel because I have oily skin, um, and this actually has oils in it, so it's... Um, like it should be more moisturizing because I wanted something that was a little bit richer for winter because like I said before my skin was actually getting drier um, so that's why I switched to this and the first week that I had it I actually really didn't like it um, but that's because I was um, that was the week before I was in the Nutcracker I was in a Nutcracker ballet performance um, I do ballet I love it <laughs> I dance like crazy you can see I have point shoes hanging up in my room um, those are that's my that's actually my first pair of point shoes, and that one right there is the pair that I have that I'm using right now. Except that they're dead, so I need to sew new ones. Anywho, completely random, but um. So, anyways, the reason that this was I think that this was breaking me out the first week that I used it is because um. I was in the middle of um, rehearsing for that, and it was like the week where we rehearse every single day right before the performance. Um, so it, I was like really, really busy, and I was getting sweaty a lot. Um, so um, yeah, just a lot of reasons for my skin to not really be as nice as it usually is. Um, so for this, um, I actually like it a lot better now. My skin's cooperating pretty well with me, but. Um, uh, just for that first week, I didn't really like it. As far as for the lactic acid for exfoliation, my skin has always been pretty smooth. I think that's because I use the Clinique uh, Clarifying Lotion, which is basically like a toner, um, and that does a lot for exfoliating my face. So my skin has always been pretty smooth. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about that one. So it's not really any different than before. So. As far as this goes, I really like it. Um, it kind of smells funny. It's just like a white cream. Not really exciting, but it smells kind of like herbal slash hospital smell. More herbal though, um, which is what I first thought of it. And um, it also, like I read online that some of their products, people think that it smells like wet dog, which if you think of it as smelling like this, it actually kind of does, which is disgusting, but... I think of it as smelling like herbal, and it's fun. Um, so yeah, that's what it smells like. Um, it was also, it was kind of strange to me. I didn't really like the way it smelled at first because I was used to using Clinique, which was unscented. Um, but I got used to it, and it doesn't like I don't really notice it that much now. Um, this comes the jar comes in several different sizes. This is the two ounce size. It's probably gonna last me a really long time. Um, you don't need a whole lot, and it's a really light moisturizer. So even though it has like it's more moisturizing than the gel I was using before. Um, it's still a really light moisturizer. It's not anything that's going to totally weigh your face down. This, I don't know if I'm going to keep it just because it's more expensive than the Clinique one that I've been using. I really like it. I think that it's a really good moisturizer. Um, but just because of the price thing, like if, if the price weren't an issue, I'd probably keep it. Um, but yeah, just, that's just what I think of it. Um... It's a very good moisturizer though, so I would definitely recommend it to anyone who wants to try something different. Um, and this would definitely be very, very good for normal skin. And then if you have really oily skin, this might not be the best option just because it isn't oil-free. Um, and if you have super dry skin, 
if you have super, super dry skin, it might not be moisturizing enough for you, but if you just have kind of dry skin, it would probably also work pretty well for you. Um, but yeah, that's what I pretty much think of all this philosophy stuff. Yeah. I was also going to make a tutorial for this look that I'm wearing right now, but I kind of do too many purple looks, so I might not do that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys found some of this helpful. If you have used any of these products and you like, dislike, have any sort of opinion on them, leave a comment below, and um, I will talk to you all soon. Bye!